can go ahead and start up and go ahead and back up. It's say to back up, right? We don't have all day. I feel my gray hair growing. Sorry, sir. You can take the left up here. And the right. You seem nervous. Just a little. Let me get these lights and go straight. What are you doing? I'm stopping for the red light. Seriously? You don't need to stop for those. I mean, seriously, how are you going to get through life letting a little red light get in your way? What are you talking about? It's a red light. Yeah, come on. Just floor it. Come on. What? I can tell you're not fully awake today. Why on earth would I do that? There's heavy traffic. Because I said so. Come on, just do it! <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. You can take a left up here. And another right. Oh, hold on! Was that a platypus? Is that a person? I don't see that every day. Oh, look at the time. We're all done. What? I thought we had a whole hour. My test is in three days. Do you really think I'm ready? Oh, heck yeah. I was evaluating you. I'd pass in my heartbeat. But you're not. So do you think the actual person evaluating me will pass me? Heck no. Are you kidding me? Pulling a stunt like that, running a red light? <laughs> You're a loose cannon, a danger to everyone on the road. But you told me to do that. You're the teacher. I am. Right? <laughs> I just thought this would be a fun job. So I jacked one of these cars from the high school parking lot and drove around picking kids up according to the list that's in here. I really just work at the appliance store down the road. <laughs> Are you for real? Oh, yeah. You should have been here earlier today, though. You know about eight mailboxes? Did donuts on the football field? <laughs> what about 80 on the driving range? Well, while getting pelted by golf balls, nonetheless. Oh, I swear this car went through World War III, and she held together. But man, best day off ever. Welcome to our coverage of the 78th Masters here at Augusta National Golf Club. I'm Henry Livingston here with Dominic McGillicuddy. We'd like to thank you for joining our final round coverage where Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson are currently battling out for first place. They are tied under at three under apiece and are the last two golfers on the course. So let's jump right into the action. Oh, it looks as if Tiger here has a long, tricky putt set up for his eagle, one that could give him the lead for sure. Oh, I bet the lies are plenty of time on this nasty puddle. <laughs> yeah, let's see if he's able to pull off this shot. <laughs> oh, poor lie. Just missed gun with love, Brian. <laughs> As we see here, feel not to win in this hole. Indeed. Phil now has a long, nasty putt set up for his birdie attempt, one that could give him a two-shot lead. Phil's definitely playing his grand old time with this putt. As we can see here, it's certainly possible this break. 
Well, we're going to hear a quick word from our sponsors, then we'll be right back with our cup in the 70th Masters when we return. What are you doing? What do you mean? That accent. Why are you using that accent? Well, all golf commentators need an accent. I mean, don't you watch the golf channel? <laughs> Nobody watches the golf channel! And besides, you're from Northern Illinois, not Scotland. Oh, I gotcha. Wait, what? Welcome back to our Cup to the 70th Masters, where Phil Nicholson is currently making an attempt at birdie from 20 feet to the right side of the green. At Craig's sake, there guys got a body at three feet of the break, there. And I'd say if you should go straight, you should go straight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right about that. Um, and here's the shot. Ooh, and he just missed that one, which could be costing this final round. You said it there, Dad. This guy cast him the championship. Dad, yeah, we see here, Tiger's got himself a pretty nice butt for his birdie, don't you know? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, and Tiger takes his shot. And he makes it with only the final 18 point main this puts him in the lead. This is NBC's coverage of the Sunday Masters, and we'll be right back. You kidding me? What? You're still using that accent. What do you think this is? Some college Shakespeare studying class or something? Shakespeare? No, that's not funny. I'm not good at that. I'm covered from a spirited golf outing here at Augusta National. So, Tiger Woods leads with a mark of one under. Well, so Mickelson does struggle with his putting. With only one more minute, I have possibly to lose the endless for this occasion. Oh, brother. <laughs> These two are just staying off on the 18th hole, and while Tiger has just driven his ball to the right side of the fairway, Phil looks to be aiming straight down the center. Indeed he does. Truth, he chooses to find trouble in the greatest position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. What would you like at that? There's this crown on my course. It looks like we need another commercial break. That was just terrible. I mean, I couldn't even understand what you were saying. You know what? I'm going to show you how a real accent is done. Uh, right up, folks, we're here with class Bill Mixon vs. Tigger Woods, and we are in for a great show. <clears throat> Trucks and mud. <laughs> Certainly. It appears that Tiger is going to suffer from bunker and is trying to pay me a and I think old Phil's going to take the lead here and get her done. <laughs> well, you'll we'll have to wait and see. Phil sets a flat shot, but he makes a few practice swings, of course. A good, nice looking practice swing there. Indeed he does. And he sets himself with a dime ball. And now here's a swing. Oh, testing out the wind brush. Now here's a swing. It's going to have to be Gilmore. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is a nice big swing. Well, it's on the green and with near inches of the hole. Mm -hmm. With Dad there, shot, I think nothing will stop old Phil. Dad is, unless old Tigger here can make a wet shot of home. Trying to look country, are we? I can do better. Here we are on the 18th floor with Tiger Woods, to make a bunch of people. With this shot, Tiger Woods is missed after the championship. He approaches the body, he's being very close to the shots. No, he should be. We've never seen a round of fight like this. This is for the fin. He's close to shooting, here's the shot. Oh, it's hiding. Let's press the body. He thinks the green is rolling to the top. Oh, what is scoot? Ah, if Martin Jesus got it, he glowed it. He's not going to fight so hard.
two houses both alike in dignity in fair Verona where we lay our scene. Two star-crossed lovers meet. Stuff happens and a couple hundred years later we read it about in English class. Here's that classic balcony scene that has been redone a thousand times. Here's our spoiled Juliet awaiting for her pig-headed Romeo to come save the day. And I'll be here to meddle in everyone's space as needed. And action! Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be sworn to me. Yes, yeah, something like that. What was the rest? Oh, yes, and I will no longer be a Capulet. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name. Would smell as sweet. But soft will light through yonder when the breaks. Shh! This is my mama. That's not even the right line. Thou seemed to teach the torches to burn the bread. Seemed to hang the palm of cheap blind. Beauty too rich for use for earth. Too dear. Wait! Where are we? Hey, you're not even in the right act. Has my heart loved till now for swear at sight? For I never saw true beauty until this night. Ah, oh, yeah, Dido. So, Romeo, will thou take us me to the prom, my good squire? What? I don't know. I was just ad -libbing. Take me, or lose me forever. Will thou deny me such repose? That is what thou wish, fair maiden. Then I'll take thee to this prom. That is a dream come true. Halt, foul beast! Wag thy tongue no more. The lady is mine. Freddy, what are you doing here? For she had eyes and chose me. So back off, me, Ted. <laughs> you take that back! I shot, did wait. <laughs> what did you just call me, Pink Squeak? Your ogre's comments have no effect on me. I'm not here to squabble with you. I'm here to deliver sweet Juliet from your... <coughs> uh, your smelly company. Well, it's coming from the one who fell down the ugly tree and hit every branch on the way down. Juliet, don't pay any attention to him. At least I can get plastic surgery to fix my ugliness. You, on the other hand, will be stupid for eternity. Um, sorry, was that comment supposed to offend me? The only thing offending me is your face! Apparently the image of your face in the mirror is burned into your thick skull. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> oh, dear lord. I forgot that you only speak idiot. Let me say this in a way that you can understand. You are a vain buffoon. <laughs> Seriously, how old are you two? You're acting like a bunch of little girls. Hush, woman! This is man's work. Get thee to a nunnery. Excuse me! Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do bite my thumb, sir. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I do not bite my thumb at you, sir. But I do. Bite my thumb. Do you quarrel, sir? Okay, take it easy. Freddy, you can go, alright? I'm a better man than you. I quarrel, sir. 